Hey guys, welcome to the 619 Muscle Training Series, Episode 2. We're going to blast up some back today. I'm joined by my buddy Charlie Boone. Charlie's a physique athlete with the MPC getting ready for his next show. He's eight weeks out for the Muscle Contest MPC Southern California Championships. Everybody needs back. They say the show is one from the back. So we're going to go through separate exercises that specify angles. Angles targeting different pieces of the back to blow it up and give you the most complete package you can. We're going to do it ourselves, so here we go. Join us. Exercise number one, we're going to do shovel grip or parallel grip pull downs. This is going to start with back width, but depending on how you position your spine relative to your hips, it's also going to bring in rhomboids, the middle of the back, and the lower lat. So we're going to use all three as we go through the position and the stretch and the squeeze. We'll get started. One of the things that I learned from my old coach, Johnny Rambod, in his FST training program was stretching between sets. We're not power lifters, we're bodybuilders. So blood flow is critical. Blood flow is everything. The pump, facilitating the nutrient delivery and recovery, removing waste products is very important. So stretching facilitates circulation of the muscles. In between every set, stretch and elongate the muscles that you're training. It also helps to neurologically program the field for the subsequent set. Some people say, especially powerlifters, that stretching weakens the muscle. Well, we're not trying to break strength records here anyway, we're trying to build size. Now Charlie's doing a very standard, basic, old school T-bar row. There's two variations to the grip on this machine. I like it because we're going across the mid back here, upper lat, we're tying in the center of the back all the way out through the lat. We're going to keep the volume a little high so we can keep our form real tight. The volume on this one is actually more challenging. We're going to try to hit 15 to 20 reps, four sets. Good job. This is our boy, 609 Muscle Athlete, Francis, getting ready for your next classic show in eight weeks. We brought him here doing back two. If we knew he was going to be here, we would have brought him in, but next time. This is one of my favorite back exercises. We kind of made an adjustment to the engineering of the machine in the sense that the way it's angled, if you sit up tall, you're going to hit a lot of trap. Stretch better, Charlie. We're trying to target lower lat, lower mid lat thickness from the spine out. You see the angle, if you keep your hips way back, it's gonna put a lot of activity into the lower and mid lats. He's got a great position here, he's pulling low. Kind of like takes the place of a dumbbell row. Really fun, we do a two arm, I'm gonna do it one arm. So it's amazing how just a little bit of a shift of focus in your form. 
change the entire way the muscle is worked and the area that the muscle that you're working. With. Yeah, and that's the thing about back. Back, there's so many different ways to pull. And your lats are big muscles, your traps are big muscles, but there's a whole bunch of little nooks and crannies and lumps and bumps in the back. There's major, minor, rhomboids, all of that involvement. So you want to hit all different angles. And it's more about nuance, subtlety, a little bit of power thrown in there, but a lot of different angles. And that's why you see what we're doing today is a lot of angles. Good. Beautiful. Good. Good. That's it. Drive right through the point of the lat. What's in your iPod or your headphones? Five finger death punch. Wash it all away. exercise was rack pulls, three-quarter dents. If you do them right, man, they blow up your whole back. Today was a little rough because we did them towards the end of the workout. We were already fatigued and we're both dieting, so low carb makes it a little heavier, but still a lot of fun. And uh, now we're going to do some inside back detail rhomboid and mid-back uh, finesse move. And then uh, we'll be just about done. We'll finish off with some assisted pull-ups. This one, Charlie's form, they'll keep the scapula retracted so he's getting a good stretch through the lats. And really isolating the lats with almost an underneath angle. Really, Charlie, stretch the scapula back. Squeeze. Yeah, three yards back there. Nice. Squeeze. Finish off with assisted pull-ups, two or three sets, just to burn it out. Assisted pull-ups to give you a good stretch, a good squeeze with really proper form. This way here we get a good stretch at the bottom. You lengthen out everything, open up the rhomboids, open up the scapula, stretch out those lats. Great workout. Probably awesome job, man. Yeah. Thank you, Pete. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Next time, we'll have something else in store.